<laughs> Hello, teacher Jackie here to quickly tell you why and why not VIP kid. Uh, I have been with the company since 2018. Um, that was kind of boom time. It was 2017 people, there's 2019 people, but I think I was right in the middle of the, the, big, the kind of boom and it kind of peaked before there was a crash in 21, 22, and now we're back at 23 and now 24. I'm wearing, I guess, the wrong color now. We are VIP teacher and it's blue or teal color, not quite like that uh, thing, but anyway. All right, so I won't make this long. I don't want to make it long. I'm here. Um, this is probably one of the few videos I make and say, hey, click my referral link. I would love to help you get hired on. But there's many teachers going, I'm not sure if I should come back. I haven't taught in two years. And I don't know, you know, I don't like the old, I just had a comment, so thank you. Didn't like the old booking where it just block booked you, like you were stuck with someone uh, every Tuesday at, at 5 a.m. or whatever it was. They don't have that anymore. I haven't had it. Um, I was kind of, um, I say reinvited back, but everything started back up February 2023 for me. And I have been able to control or feel like I'm empowered and uh, of my schedule. I will say this, the one thing that's very, very different for me personally, is that you cannot open slots like this week and expect it to fill up. It, my, <laughs> I just did that, and my whole um, schedule looked like Swiss cheese. <laughs> I was telling my husband, I was like, "Hey, got my schedule. Looks like Swiss cheese. Look." And of course, he's like, "I love Swiss cheese. I do too." <laughs> but <clears throat> I opened up this current week the next week and the next week. And I will tell you the two weeks after the current week is when they're booking. And I will say the second of the two weeks after the current week is the one that was full. So parents right now are booking that kind of third week or second week after the current week. Does that make sense? I hope so. <laughs> I don't have a chart or a diagram because I just wanted to pop in here and say this morning, I was so excited to just get on here and I just, okay, let me just back up. I have been, of course, seven bucks for 25 minutes is nothing. So that's why many people are not back. They're doing other uh, teaching, independent teaching, um, freelance, whatever you want to call it. It's not much money. And I have seen other companies that are like, you know, instead of 14 bucks an hour, they're 15, they're 20 and so on. Most of them are around 15, 16. And as I have applied and even interviewed with a lot of these companies, I keep coming back to VIP because of this the tier incentive is still there. So people are like, I lost my money and you, know, you used to get a dollar when you showed up and a dollar when you finished and all that stuff. And that went away. They got the tier. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's okay. <laughs> but those who, who are looking to come back or who are currently here understand what I'm saying. And it's like that seven bucks becomes, you know, 780 if you teach 20 classes. And then if you teach over 20, you get another dollar twenty. So that becomes eight twenty. And so really I start to average 20 bucks an hour when you teach a lot of classes. You can even get up to 22 if you can do a lot more, which I can't though, because I do have a eight to five and I'm also in grad school. <laughs> so it's a lot. So I do as much as I can before I have to go to work and on the weekends. Uh try to keep Sundays off. Just someday I need I need a sleep in one day a week, but also have a lot of bills. Anyway, so the benefits, let's just go through like top, let's just say four, four benefits. Okay. Number one, no prep, like zero prep. So some of you are like, how do you do that? How do you have the right props available? How do you know what the next slide is? And how, how do you do that? Well, I just, I've been doing it so long. I kind of can wing it. 
I will say for those who haven't been back, <clears throat> for me personally, and again, we're all going to have our own classroom culture, our own uh, methodology, our own, you know, everything. So for me, I've noticed, I don't think the te the parents are as critical before. Remember when we were like, the feedback must be this way. It must be so value added feedback. It must have feedback. I don't know what I just said. <laughs> it must say these words and these orders. And <clears throat> But I have also, um, excuse me, noticed that a lot of our feedback just reiterated what they already know. They already know the name. I've done a video on this. They already know the name of the, you know, um, at the pond or whatever. They already know the name of the lesson. They already know the words. They already know all those things. You're, you're repeating like, oh, your student said these words. And I, do, I have that. I have a very short template and my template does not include your name anymore. It doesn't say, thank you for Sally to be in class. It was great to see you, Sally. And Sally did great. And Sally and she and mine just says you. You know, thank you for coming to my class today. You did very well. So uh, all, my feedback template. So let me go back. No prep. So I don't pull out. I just have literally my stars. I have my teacher sign. Um, hello, my name is teacher. Whoa, my name is teacher Jackie because my wall is a blank. Um, I could turn off my. Actually, I'll turn off my virtual background real quick. I think. Let me show you real quick. There it is. That's it. Very plain, Jane. That's it. So I have my teacher sign, my stars, and I made these. And I actually just saw some on Amazon, but they're like a whole bunch. So these I made. I made, I've had these. For years, years and years. These I bought like at a teacher store. They're for the wall, but I got like a whole bunch. But I um, actually turned one around to make white. But lots of kids like the color black. I need to make black, purple, and pink stars. But, you know, whatever. The only other two props I really have is this. So when the student uses it. And then a microphone, which I don't really use as much because I don't teach the littles. Of course, they love ice cream. So I still have this. But that's really about it. I never went crazy. I started to go crazy with all the 2D props and or using uh, slides and rewards. My rewards is just a star. There's so much content in the slides and so much importance I put on pronunciation. I don't have time for games. <laughs> Additional second um, rewards. So does that help you understand? No prep. I just show up and I show the slides. I go through them. Today I had a new class that had songs and I wasn't prepared. So um, thankfully they had the words and I was just kind of covering my mouth and doing this. Kid didn't really care about the song. So no prep. The second one I said was quick feedback. I don't think the parents are reading them as much really. So I do have it very generic, the kind of you, and then I do the vocabulary. But during class, I type the words they mispronounce and that I help them with. And I do put that in the feedback. And then the feedback just says, even says to leave me a five star, you know, some do, some don't still. Number three, it actually pays more than you think. So I think the standard across the board is seven for everyone. So even though I'm throwing that out there, people may think others make eight or some, they may, I don't know, but I doubt it because everyone kind of got thrown back. By the way, the contracts renew, auto renew. They do have new, oh my goodness, they have a ton of new stuff. They have math. You want to teach math? They have math. I can't teach the one that they want because I don't know middle school math very well. Um, yeah, so ST something or other. They have, um, if you need this as a full-time regular gig, they have a lot more of that now too. But I am doing the basic mainland China um classes i had done everything to get every certification and i do not like a few of them i'm not going to go into them unless you really want to know what they are but for me personally i just don't like the slides i don't like the fact that it opens up in the window that you're in i like how it opens up a new classroom window so i 
I'm just a certain way. We're all different, right? So what I say, no prep, limited feedback. And I guess this last, this one is just, there's so many sort. there's so many options. There's, it's more than just um, English for little kids. I had some adults. They haven't really, I had a, like an older teenager today and a little, little kid, but I haven't seen adults for a while. So is that three? Let's say a fourth one. Oh, money. That's what it was. It pays more than you think. Um, I have, there's another company. A lot of VIP kids jumped. VIP kids. VIP kid teachers jumped and went to another company. Um, some top people actually, <laughs> two different companies actually. Um, they both have similar names and such. We'll go into those later. But I've interviewed with both. And one of them, you have to like grade a paper and, and help them rewrite the paper and talk to the parent. And uh, no, I just want to log on, teach, love on the kids from here, log off and go watch some reels or <laughs> drink some coffee. Um, it paid a little bit more. But again, if I teach a few more of these classes here, I'm making that same pay with all that extra, less extra work. Um, the other one. I haven't finished the application process. Oh, they think they wanted a regular schedule and I can't do that. I need to be flexible. If I can't teach a Monday, speaking of that little bonus, fifth, fifth tip is this. I was so nerdy about if I was sick or traveling and I had a class, I taught it. I, I did not cancel. I did not try to miss or anything. Well, this past year, I opened up classes in February and missed the first class. I didn't know I got booked. And I went and it said, teacher no show. And I went, oh, I've never had that like five years, like, or whatever it was. I was like, hmm, first year, first class back in a year and a half. So I had learned not to have that anxiety about it. I'm like, I haven't taught in a year and a half. Well, you know, if they, you know, against my contract, or I think you can have two, or I'm not sure what it was. But the contract renewed in the summer, and I had another one. I don't know what happened. I can't remember if I didn't wake up or no, no, no. It was technology. I couldn't get in. And um, but the good news is, in October, I really needed to cancel. Something had come up, an emergency, and I needed to cancel. So a teacher no show is ten bucks, and that doesn't come off until the end of the month. What a pain. But to cancel, two bucks. That's it. Lose two dollars. And it goes against your contract and you have a couple of per contract or whatever per six month. And I had to cancel again. And I have like, thankfully, guilt-free, no stress, no anxiety about it. Like I used to back in the day, like 18, 19, 20, it was like, you know, don't miss and don't be late and no teacher show and no teacher show. You know what I'm trying to say. Oh my goodness, it's probably too long. Um, yeah, so hopefully these tips. What did I say? I don't even know because I didn't prepare. I just was excited to say why not? I want teachers to know that this actually still pays more than you think. <laughs> no prep. The parents are like just happy to have you back. You're a native speaker. You're probably the best, and they're not going to be as critical as they were. I mean, when we we're taken away from them. You know, we, we know what we have until it's gone. We don't know what we have until it's gone. Kind of uh, mindset, right? So I saw a, a parent walk in today, walk to the side. I saw their shoulder. And I admit, you know, when you see that, you're like, you get a little bit better. You're kind of like, oh, hmm, you get a little extra um, good with that. But um, yeah, I'm here to serve them and that and do my best always. Comment. What do you think? Is this worth it? Are you, have you found another company that's just as awesome as this that I don't know about? Please let me know because I have interviewed with lots. I, I interviewed with one that just corrected accents. I swear you just need to be a speech therapist to do that one. That one was tricky. Another one, like I said, um, you had to have a regular schedule. Another one, you had to open up 20 slots per week. I don't have that much time um with grad school and being a mom and work and 
everything else, right? I could do it, but it's again, mental health, physical health, emotional health is so important. And I still encourage everyone to drink water, hydrate. Wow. Long enough. Love you all. I hope this is again, encouraging our community or new people to come into the community and um, just do like, oh, got a call. Sorry. Time to go. Bye.